part of directing this? I think, you know, bringing the story to life, there are so many expectations, obviously. It is such a beloved film. And so being true to that and, and, and really navigating through people's personalities in order to tell the right story eight times a week can be a challenge at times. Other weeks, it's so easy. Some weeks are not so easy. So I think that's a big challenge in itself. It's personalities and telling the right story every night. Yeah. Thank you very much. Oh, can I ask one more for for sure. uh, Lee? Hi. Um, hi. Um, how do you inject your personal brand of Ola um, that is distinct from uh, Josh? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I think. Well, I think we touched on this before. Like, no one's coming to see a performance of someone imitating Josh Gad being Olaf. And it's the same with El uh, Elsa uh, not being a and being Elsa. So I think that what we bring to it is that we look at the character on a page and say, right, who is this character and how can I bring him to life? Obviously staying within the parameters of how the film has been depicted and what people are coming to expect. But I don't want to be seen to be Matt Lee being Josh Gad being Olaf. You know what I mean? So I think I have to be Matt Lee being Olaf and Josh did such a wonderful, iconic job of bringing his take to it. And so then I just sprinkle my own flavor onto it to make it feel uh, authentic to myself. Well said. Hi. What's your name? I'm Ruth from the Philippines also. I have a question for Ben. Um, most of the people who will fly in to watch the show will probably be parents with their children. And you know how it is that it's the age of um, phone cameras and everything. And I know there might be restrictions on uh, taking videos of the show, but will you be allowing the parents to record the reactions of their children? I wish we could, but you know, I think theater is such a beautiful thing, and I think it should be enjoyed in the moment. You know, it's everything is so immediate these days, or we film everything and we look back on it, and we forget the actual memory of that moment in time. And so, I would champion everyone just to sit in it and remember that moment and remember the time shared with their family watching this. I think it's such a beautiful show to do that. It really, really is. And there are so many lessons that can be learned within the show, watching it with all the things that we touch on, that um, I would say, just enjoy it. Don't film anything. <laughs> Hello, on the side of the room, does anyone have a question? Oh, hello. Hi. Yeah. Mike's turning away. What's your name, sir? Hello, Where are you from? Thomas from Indonesia. Hello. Yeah, I'm just curious about the preparation before the show. How long you guys take for uh, you did for the preparation before the show? Yeah. So, um, in regards to rehearsals, I think we were in the rehearsal studio for a month, um, and then we moved into the theatre. But as Gemma said earlier, it was a six-month process to find our cast, and I think we had three rounds, uh, three or four rounds. I think it, Four or five. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, because there was a lot of callbacks within yeah. those rounds yeah, and they yeah. were months apart. It went forever. <laughs> um, and it was really fabulous. And so then when once we went into rehearsals, about a month in the room, and then we moved to the theatre and then we teched the show uh, very slowly for two weeks, yeah, before we had our first audience. So it's a process. Wow. Okay, thank you. I, I do have a question. Great, what's your name? Hi, I'm Fauzi and um, I do social media content. So I play a few characters on uh, social media. How do you break out of character, like when off your uh, theatre shows? Yeah, so on, on stage and off stage? On stage and yeah, off stage. look, everyone has a different process, but for me personally, I can turn on and turn off. Um, but I think that it, it takes a little bit of time. So the rehearsal period, you're probably a little bit more consumed with the character. You're thinking about her more often and, and you're sort of trying to understand her. And then once some time has gone by, you know that character inside and out, and so you can be off, the lights come on, and you're her, and then I walk off stage, and I'm me. So, so yeah, it, that's kind of how it happens for me. It, you get consumed at the beginning, and then once you really know the character, then it's easier to turn on and turn off. What about you, Matt? Yeah, I was just gonna say, in the rehearsal process, you go to sleep singing the songs, you wake yes, up singing you do. the songs. Trying to switch them off, like for me in rehearsals, I would be in bed going, everyone's a bit of a fixer-upper, and I'm like, please stop. And then I'd wake up going, hooga, 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 I'm like, please stop. Um, so once that you get uh, into the run of the show, that kind of goes away, if fingers crossed. 
but during rehearsals, like you are immersed in it, and you uh, sleep, breathe, eat, all of it. So I know for me, the music is just constantly going through your head. Um, so that's a process in itself. Thank you. It's Thanks. still going through my head. I wake up every morning singing the songs. It's crazy. Wow. These songs are amazing. They're incredible. Yeah. They're constructed, it's so catchy. Aren't yeah. they? They're yeah. constructed so brilliantly, and, and the stories they tell within the songs are fantastic. So. I sing them. I woke up this morning singing Monster. <laughs> <laughs> oh, is there something we should know? <laughs> All right, any other questions before we wrap up? Yep. Hi, my name is Joanna. I'm from a radio station here in Singapore called Power 98. And you're going to be in Singapore for a couple of weeks, months, as you're here to the production. So are you looking forward to doing anything here in Singapore or trying any of our food, like chicken rice? <laughs> of course, I'm so excited. I'm going to go to Lao Passat. You know, I, I want to go to Gardens by the Bay. Um, yeah, I haven't, because when I was doing Wicked, it was being built at the time, so I didn't get to go, so I'm so excited about that. Oh, there's so many things, but definitely the food, I'm a, a foodie, so yeah, I'll be trying everything, chili crab, chili stingray. You know, yeah, I'm all about it. I've never been here. So if anyone's got suggestions of what I should do, hit me up. One, two, three, what's the one thing you should try? One, two, three. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, all right. Kaya there you go. Uh, it's kind of like a, a jam that like the coconut panda leaf jam. Ooh. Yes. It's delicious. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's life changing. Okay. 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 I'm excited. Awesome. All right. So thank you, Benjamin Osborne, resident director, Jennifer Mason, also and Randy Holman, for bringing us through this journey of Disney Girls and the hit Broadway musical launching here February 2023. Be sure to tell all your friends yeah. all about it. Book your tickets to come back and watch the show live in person. Actually, guys, one last question: Is there a moment that you look forward to from the audience for their reaction during the musical? There's so many. Like I know the, the big act, the, the big ending of Act One is epic for everyone, which is yeah. Gemma's moment, which is amazing. Um, <laughs> but also when Olaf enters, like when Olaf enters, it's quite the audience goes nuts for it so that's for me as an actor very very uh, rewarding the bows doing the bows because they actually because we can't see very much from because the lights are very very bright but they sort of put a little bit more lights in the house and so we can see people's faces so when we're bowing we're actually seeing people smiling and applauding and cheering and and that really warms my heart because you're seeing that everyone's had a really wonderful time and you've been part of something really special okay so now you know when the house lights come on yeah wave the lights over you and wave i do i try to look and i wave at people yeah. Yeah. So I hope you had a good look at our audience today. You guys have been awesome. Thank you so much. Yeah. 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 All the way from the Philippines, Thailand, Brunei, Malaysia, and of course Singapore. And of course one more warm uh, thank you to our cast and creative of Disney's Frozen, the hit brother. photos right now of course feel free in a few moments to take pictures uh, with the dresses as well the hundred and forty thousand uh, crystals no fourteen thousand crystals okay um, we have actually one more last song for you this is a bit of a treat 